Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Kai. I'm your instructor for EECS 1011. This is uh, computational thinking through mechatronics. I'm joined by uh, Eric Prandowski, one of our uh, laboratory technologists at Lausanne. Uh, he will be supporting our course uh, throughout. Uh, what we wanted to do today is uh, introduce the lab, the physical lab, which uh, you can choose to come uh to visit and uh, or you can do it yourself so we want to give you all the tools you have to set up the software that we'll be using uh the the computational platform which is matlab and also uh the physical uh electronic board arduino uh, grove arduino beginner kit and uh, so we'll do we'll, we'll split this video in three uh first eric is going to introduce well himself and uh, and also the physical lab and uh, and then we'll make a the second part of the video would part two would be for MATLAB and part three is uh, Arduino. So over to you, Eric. Perfect. So once again, my name's Eric. Uh, I'm the technologist for the uh, Williams Small Center EECS labs. Uh, so there's myself and my colleague Guy and Gamage, uh, who are the technologists here. So we're going to be uh, in the physical lab to help you out uh, if you have any struggles with. MATLAB or with uh, the Arduino kits. But why don't uh, I pan the camera around so you can see the physical lab space? Uh, Eric, so I have a question is that during, so they have assigned lab time. And uh, during that time, will you be available on Zoom or any virtual platform? Okay, so now that I'm reviewing and editing this video, I realized we didn't make it clear. So if you need help with either your MATLAB uh, environment or the Grove board Arduino kit, it's best to come to the lab session where we can help you in person. Uh, if you're unable to make it, however, um, we're gonna join the Discord as well and uh, you should be able to reach us from there. So yes, here's the introduction. Uh, this is Rufus, it's one of my two puppies and he will be making occasional visit to these, uh, to these videos. All right, so let's go. Well, welcome back to uh, part two of the demo of uh, setting up the software and hardware for uh, EEC as uh, 1011. So we're gonna talk about MATLAB, which is, uh, so MATLAB is the software programming and really computational platform you'll be learning to use during this course. What we're gonna be learning through this course really is two things. First, we're going to learn about how to code, how to think, how to strategize so we can program, right? And, uh, and then we're going to specifically learn the language of MATLAB. You've probably already read my introductory email is that it's really the thinking, computational thinking, and the language go together. And then you can actually make the program, right? If you get really good at computational thinking and then the, the programming language is really, it, they're like, they're different syntax, but they're more or less the same, right? So you'll be able to pick up a new language very quickly. Now we've chosen MATLAB because it's such a commonly used language in, uh, in the engineering environment. Um, so what Eric is gonna demo to us, so we have a fresh Windows PC and, um, in that there is no MATLAB installation. I just want to tell students that you're welcome to essentially do it on your own PC or on your Mac. Uh, on PC and Mac, really, it's pretty similar way of doing it. And uh, so you can follow the same step as uh, what Eric is doing and have it on your own computer. We'll start by creating a MathWorks account. I've got some help from Pune here who does not have a MathWorks account. So she's gonna go through the account creation process for you. So you're gonna start with your YorkQ email address. So it's gonna ask you to sign in with your uh, YorkQ credentials here. So now you've created a MathWorks account that has been verified using your Passport York. Okay, we're going to go through the download and install of MATLAB on this computer. I'll share my screen, open a new browser window, search for MATLAB download. 
Okay, so on the top right, get MATLAB. It's going to ask us to sign in. On the top right, it says install MATLAB. I'm going to click that. It should auto detect whether you're on uh, Windows or Mac. And open the file. And ask you to sign in again with the license agreement. The license, the install directory. Uh, all the other toolboxes, you can add them later. Uh, but MATLAB is about four gigabytes. So it's going to take long enough to install. So click next. Begin install. Okay. Installation is complete. Let's try and launch MATLAB. Okay, now we're going to go over the installation of the Arduino support packages for MATLAB, as well as connecting your uh, Arduino broke board. So here's the default environment when you first boot up MATLAB. I'm going to go to Get Add ons. And we're going to search for Arduino. It's going to be the first search result. And we're going to click install. Okay, there's one more step we have to complete in order to talk to our Arduino growth board. So we're going to open up a browser window. We're going to search for CP21. Zero two driver. So this is a USB to serial port driver. So I'm going to go to downloads. So this allows our Arduino to talk to our USB port on our computer. And for Windows, you're going to pick this one. Open it up. We're going to extract to the 64-bit install. Okay, now we're going to go over connecting to our Arduino board. So you're going to click the little down arrow on add-ons, click manage add-ons. Uh, we're going to click this little gear here. This will run the Arduino setup program. So since we previously installed the specific USB driver for our Grove board, we don't need to click this. Click next. Do we want to set up connection? Yes. So the type will be USB. So this is where we're going to plug in the USB to our Arduino board. So here's our Grove board. I've opened the box carefully. There are six tabs. You have to be very gentle when opening it. Uh, they rip very easily. In order to connect, we're going to press. Uh, we're going to push the USB in now, and then we're going to go back to our computer. So we're selecting a USB connection. Click next. So we're going to find the port, COM5, and we are going to select Nano3, and we're going to hit Program. Okay, success, click Next to proceed. So we can test the connection now. So test connection successful. So we're going to launch the show examples. Let's just pick the first example here. This is an example of blinking an LED. To connect to our Arduino, we're going to define it in our workspace. So we're going to say A equals Arduino. Then we're going to say which COM port it's connected to. So ours was connected to COM5 and the board type. So we're going to use Nano 3 in this case. So MATLAB has created an Arduino object representing our physical Arduino board with the following properties. So let's go back to our tutorial. So it's telling us to turn on and off an LED. So if you look at the top left of your board, there's an LED in the top left, D4. 
So to turn on our LED, we're going to write a high value or a one to it. So this is the code we're going to use to write a value to our Arduino pin. We're going to change it from D11 to D4. So when I press enter here, it's going to turn the LED on. If we press the up arrow, go to our command history, we can write a zero, and then we'll turn the LED off. That's a successful connection to our Arduino, and we're successfully sending data to it. Thank you so much, and looking forward to see everybody uh, well, at some point in class or in lab or in tutorial. Take care, everybody.